Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. That's why I have this weird accent. I want to give a shout out for supporting my channel. Thank you so much, it really helps a lot. You can buy cool After Effects templates from my portfolio and leave any comment with this word on that side. I'm super grateful for any support. And I'll give you a shout out in my next video. And today I'm going to show you how to make this transition effect from Suicide Squad. I'll give you for free an easy template of this effect. And also, I'll show you a great site with awesome and professional templates. I'll walk you through a registration and show you how fast and easy you can buy and use those templates. For example, I'm gonna use one of my own projects to show you how fast you can get great results. Let's get started! Today I decided to make tutorial based on the suggestions from the comments. We will create this transition effect from Suicide Squad. So we have this first scene where nothing is happening. Transition is happening, we have this next shot here and at the end nothing is happening again. We can see these shaky edges. Also we can see this green and purple color gradient. Then it's getting bright and then we can also see those shaky edges, purple light and green color around the scene. And if we look closely we can see that her lips getting bigger as well as her glasses. And here we have some kind of blur. So let's try to recreate this. I dragged this same footage on this icon here. So we need first shot where nothing is happening. I'm going to duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl D on keyboard. And then I right mouse click on this layer, go to time, freeze frame. So we have first scene where nothing is happening. Then let's try to find a cool looking shot. This shot looks pretty fun. Ctrl D on keyboard to duplicate. And go to time, freeze frame. So now we have this second shot. Let's look for a third. This shot looks intense. Let's freeze frame it. Go to time, freeze frame. And now I'm going to cut this layer by grabbing this edge, like this, and duplicate this layer below. Drag it up top. We have this scene. Let's cut all of these layers so they would look more organized. So this is pretty much our setup. So let's create our adjustment layer. Go to layer, new, adjustment layer. Let's cut it according to these two layers, like this. And let's apply effect called optics compensation. Drag it over our adjustment layer and I set it to 70. Then click on this checkbox here. Hold alt on keyboard and press on this stopwatch here. Type in wiggle, open bracket, 15, comma, 25, close bracket and click anywhere. So now basically we have this effect. Let's animate it. Click on this stopwatch. Then press U on keyboard to see our keyframe. And drag it over. And here pretty much on the end of this layer, let's change it to 100. I think I'm gonna switch those both layers. Let's start with Joker. And end up with Harley Quinn. I think it will look much more intense. And here at very end, let's set it to 120. In next frame, let's set it to 70 again. So now we have this effect. You can change these values as you like. Now let's add some exposure. Go to Effect, Color Correction, Exposure. I set exposure to 1. Let's create keyframe here. Then here let's bring up this little higher. And towards end, let's make it much brighter. I set it to 4. And here, let's change back to 1.5. So now we have this animation. Remember, we have this weird effect where glasses are getting bigger. Let's try to recreate this. I'm going to use Effect, Blur and Sharpen, CC Vector Blur. Let's set Rich Smoothness to 4. So here it's going to be 0, and here where it's changing, let's set it to 10. And now let's change these two values to make it better. I set it to 4, and here to 8. And maybe change the angle. I think 10 is too much, let's set it to 6, it looks good. You can play with these values to find look which you prefer. And about here, let's change it to 0. Press U on keyboard 
and select all of these keyframes and press F9. Now we're getting these weird edges. To fix this, let's go to Effect, Distort, Transform and scale set it to 102 to hide those edges. Now let's add some colors. Go to Layer, New, Solid. Call it Green and change it to Green. Now we can shut this layer off and draw a mask which we like. Then press F on keyboard, we can activate this layer and bring up the feather. And let's change blending mode to color. Let's cut this layer according to this layer below. And let's create new layer. Go to layer, new, solid. This one we will call purple. Make it purple. And let's draw a new mask using this pen tool again. Also press F on keyboard, feather a bit, and change blending mode to color. Let's cut this layer also, select both of these layers, and press T on keyboard. You can adjust this opacity as you want. Let's also press Ctrl D on keyboard, drag it above, and move it over. And here we can adjust opacity as well. Press T on keyboard. Let's make this green color a lot less saturated. And let's change a bit this purple mask, like this, and bring down this opacity. We can also animate this, select both of these layers, press T, create keyframes, drag them over, and here set it to zero. Let's also animate these both layers, select them, press T on keyboard, create keyframe, and later let's set it to about 15. And as final touch, let's duplicate this green layer, Control D on keyboard, move it above, and let's cut it to this point. We will make this completely green, press T on keyboard, delete all of these keyframes by pressing here, and set it to 100. And let's cut it to this moment. So we have this green flash. If you want to make more violent shakiness of the edges, just select this adjustment layer, press twice U on keyboard, and change this expression, let's set it to 125. Now you can see it gets a lot more crazier. So that's how you can control this edge shakiness. Also in description to this video you can find transition template. So basically for example we have this footage with no effects. Let's delete this all. Then you can download transition template from description below. And go to file, import, file. You will get this file for free. Click on it and click import. So here we have transition comp. Just drag it into your comp and here you can see this marker which shows you where is the peak of this transition. Let's time it directly above. Click on this toggle switch and click on this start here. As you can see it is a free preset of what we did in this tutorial. And now let's see how it's easy to use the projects which I have for sale. So in description we have this link for registration. So here we have create Envato account, type first name, last name and email. Then click on this green button here. Also you can choose your username and choose your password. Once you click on it you'll get email to confirm your account. Of course I recommend to check my portfolio for cool templates. You are not limited with this choice, so you can go to After Effects Projects files. Here you can see a bunch of cool projects. Or you can use this search bar for specific requests. Let's say you want to buy this project. You click on it and here you have buy now button. Let's click on it as well. As you can see for payment method you can use Visa or MasterCard. Also PayPal works as well. And then click check out. Then go to nickname and choose downloads. Here you will see all projects which you bought. And you can download them anytime. So once you download it you will have this zip file. And in my projects you will find video tutorials on how to use them and project folder with the project itself. And here you can open this project and use it. For example, I am gonna import some footage. Here I have placeholders and open them and drag my footage into placeholder. We can open second placeholder and repeat this step. Here also we have text holders and we can change text to whatever we need.
And if you want to support my channel, you can check my portfolio right here and choose for yourself cool looking template. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.